Hello and welcome to the Nearly News Show. My name is Luke Anthony and today I'm going to be speaking to the Malcolm Hardy Award. Oh, I don't care about what award it is. I'm going to be speaking to President Bonjo about his life, his childhood and where he hopes to go in the future with a new love. He's got a new love and we're going to speak all about that tonight. So please welcome to the show, President Abonjo. Hello, Mr. President. Luke. Yes, hello, how you are, are you? Doing, you are doing quite better in terms of your introduction, but I think you haven't got it completely right. Okay. Since you last met me, I was awarded a doctorate degree, Dr. Fidelis Majuku. His Excellency, Malcolm Hardy Award winner, the original African dictator. The original African dictator. But look, you will learn. What is this that you're wearing? Why do you have a tie on your head? You look like a hostage. <laughs> well, uh, I did try and leave the house earlier and one of your assassins did give me the eye, just gave me the evil eye. And um, what, what really happened was um, I just... I, okay, so in a party, everyone starts with their tie on their neck, okay? Everyone starts with their tie on their neck. Siri, go away. I appear to be infiltrated by Siri. Are you sure that's not the MFI or E4 or I, BBC Studios? I seem to have been... I've, yeah, maybe. Maybe we've been infiltrated. Uh, they might not like the, the the Nearly News show. This is going to be very, very embarrassing to our people. But what I want to say is that our party always starts with a tie round someone's neck. And what I'm saying is, start with it on your head. And when you drink, by the time by the time the night continues and gets later and you get drunk, then you need to try and take the tie off and then do the tie up. And it's a real challenge to be really good at tying your ties. You should know all about this, Mr. President. Well, so, look, Luke, I'm really, really worried. Are we going to continue with this interview? You, Because you look drunk, you, you, you're incoherent, you, you are not making any sense. Anyway, have you noticed something different about me too? Uh, you've got new makeup? No, I have a new uniform. Oh, no, sorry, yes, you have a new uniform. I couldn't tell. It uh, looks the same. What's different about it? What's different about it? You should look, look. Okay. My medals are gone. Yeah. Oh. Yeah? You've been stripped of your I medals. Look like a, I, no, I look like an Air Force general. I did this because I feel like I went on a third date uh, on uniformdating.com with Amelia. And I think I have fallen in love with Amelia. And I just decided, because you know when you're on lockdown, you need to try and change your scenery, you know, change your view. You know, I was in the bed when I was talking to her the other day and we, you know, got almost intimate. We even tried a Zoom kiss. Oh, wow. You know, that went horribly wrong. So I decided, because I'm meeting her again on Friday at nine o'clock, and I decided that I would uh, get a new uniform online. So to impress her, don't you think I look good? You look excellent, Mr. President. You always look good. But I'm a little bit concerned that you've removed your, your medals. You should be proud of your medals. My medals are there and my uniform is there. I just wanted to look different okay. to, to Amelia and I was to put it to, to the public. I want people to see my uniform and see, you know, just see how I look now. I think you look excellent, Mr. President. I think you should be very proud. So tell me, tell us a bit more about Amelia. This is, this is really good news for you. Yeah, it is good news. It, uh, this is my third date. And, you know, she told me something during, my, uh, during our last meeting. And uh, she said to me uh, that she dreamt that we actually went on stage together and that she was not uh, adequately dressed because she forgot her costume. How wonderful is that? How, how you know, women, they just have a way of enticing me, you know? They, they have a way, you know... Oh, she's she's beautiful. She's wonderful. Really wonderful. Mr. President, I'm slightly concerned that I, I'm, I'm really happy for you. Let me just stress that first and foremost. But I'm really concerned that you're too in love. And in that case, do you not think it's going to affect your, your ability to run Laughter Republic? 
No. If anything, it's a good motivator. Look at your prime minister. Yeah. I, I should say congratulations to Boris Johnson, who has now got his seventh or eighth child. You know, and he's excited. He's back you now from sick leave. I think he was going to get paternity leave. He didn't get paternity leave. He decided. But he looks energized. There's nothing better than sex. And your your prime minister has confirmed that. He looks he looks great. He looks he looks energized. Didn't you see him earlier on? And he's decided no, no lockdown. Yeah, we're going to continue with the lockdown. He looks he looks excited. That's only a woman can do that to a man. He looks energized. He looks healthy. He looks healthy. That's excellent. Um, for some reason, Facebook Live seems to have lost our video, and I don't know and understand why. Hello, Mr. President. Must be E4 and BBC Studios. Yeah, they seem to have. He's, well, it, is it working on your side, Mr. Oh, President? Can yeah. you see it? I'm We're still here. We're still here. We're still here. You can see Steos. You can still see yeah. us. Okay, well, we'll have to see how that goes. Yes. Um, let's continue as we as as we were, um, but we'll see we'll yeah. see what happens. I'm um, sorry, Don't this has been a terrible so interview so far. No, what I'm saying to you is that you guys should be proud. I mean, I mean, you should be proud. You know, I remember I was reading earlier on Piers Morgan criticizing the prime minister, basically saying, "Oh, he's very happy that there's a new baby, but let's not be distracted by the fact that we now have thirty thousand people who have died." When Jesus was born, wasn't there a distraction? Come on, Boris is your dear leader. Yeah, um, I think I think we should say a big thank you to Sean, who who seems to be trying to get a job as one of your spies, and he's saying that we were infiltrated by the MI5. Do, do you think this could be true? Uh, Sean is Sean. Is that Sean? Sean. I hope it's not the same Sean who likes to dress like a woman. Uh, uh, he uh, told me last night. And I'm going to probably pronounce his name completely wrong now, but it's uh, Sean Disanayaki. Oh, geez. It's typical of you English people. <laughs> when there's an it's opportunity so for you not to be racist, you, you become racist. Yeah? yeah. And what I was going to say is Sean, Sean enjoys uh, dressing up as a woman at night. Oh. And he's also called Shanquil. So maybe you can call him Shanquil. Okay. Sh I could call him Shanquil. Are you worried that sean might be amelia pretend he could be a catfish no it's impossible uh, Amelia you, are you sure is, he's white? Not white? is he not waiting up it could be oh he's white but he no no, he... no, no. Look, sean 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 is an asian man okay uh who knows he might be an asian lady lady boy or lady girl who knows but sean is definitely asian and he's a lady boy or lady girl but amelia is an english scout woman Yes, but I'm slightly there's, worried. There's a difference. Okay, but I'm slightly worried that he could he could be very very racist and he could be painting himself white. No, no, no. You are the one who's racist for not being <laughs> able to pronounce his name properly. He said and she, you should have just left. Oh, typical of you, uh, amateur journalists. Uh, pinkies. Get the names right. Mm. Pinkies, yeah. Yeah, pinkies. Same. I wanted thing. to show you something. Go on, please show me. I wanted please. to show you something. I, I think this is a very lovely photograph. Guess who this is? Uh, is that... Is that Gaddafi? No, that's me. Oh, sorry. At the age of five. I know people have been posting photographs of themselves at the age of 20. I decided to do something different. At the age of five, when I was on the boat going from Liverpool to Gaddad, that's me. Can't you see the hat? I always knew I was going to be president of a great nation. Can't you see that, my friend? That's incredible. You you look you look like you've always had authority. You know, you've got your hat exactly. on. Your hair's a mess, but well, my hair has been a mess since the lockdown. But that's a wonderful. I I just wanted to show my people because my people and the people on my fan page, I know they want to use this opportunity to get to know me better. So that's it. Age five. Handsome looking. Yeah. Lovable man. I yeah. might even show Hamilia. I couldn't tell whether you're a boy or a girl there, but um, you look beautiful. That is, that is, that you see, you started again. That is, that's gender bias. Gender, gender bias. fluid bias. 
<laughs> yeah. gender fluid bias. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do apologize to the the viewers for my behaviour. Um, I just I just say what comes to my mind and it happens. Look, um, I've been before this lockdown. I was in. I was, I was going to. I love a good kebab. I don't know if you like kebabs, Mr. President. Um, yeah. But yeah. I was a kebab fan in Cambridge, um, a very reputable place, and I met. The person yeah. who ran the kebab fam, his name was Saddam Hussein. What are your thoughts yeah. on the conspiracy that Saddam Hussein is actually in hiding and is running a kebab van in Cambridge? Uh, I, I, I would have known if uh, Saddam was alive because we detectives, we were always in touch with one another. It's just okay. like King Jong Il or King Jong Un at the moment, who everybody is speculating. I know. He is alive. I know for a fact that he's alive. It's not only Donald Trump who believes that he knows that King Jong Il is alive. He's alive and he's enjoying the attention. Enjoying the attention. Okay. And so, so how, how come? Yeah. He's not alive. Okay. So I don't mean it's definitely not alive. But what what are your thoughts on on uh, the fact that most of the people that are close to him? Not even they understand or know where he is or what's happened to him. So why do you have exclusive access to his whereabouts? Because I'm a dictator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was the Boris Johnson. You know, Donald Trump said he knows where Kim Jong Il is. Do you understand what I'm saying? So yeah. I also know. But this, this is the thing: the, pe the only people who know what's happening with North Korea is Putin, myself. Assad, Donald Trump, those four, including myself, we know. We know what's going on. And it's, it's, it's just amazing. The world is going through a crisis and you're worrying about Kim Jong-il. Terrible. Well, she's a very beautiful woman. Wow. Well, I thought you'd like... Say that... So are you, do you think that she might... She might know that Kim Jong Un's alive, and just trying to take the position. Do you do, do you think that maybe you could add her to your six wives? Maybe seven now. You're going to be seeing Amelia a bit more often, and if you wed her, maybe that will stop her from taking the position of Kim Jong Un, and then Kim Jong Un will emerge again. I'm I'm actually quite upset because I don't know what's happened. As soon as have. Uh, we found out that there was a rumor that her brother had died. I wrote to her on Twitter and she responded. Uh, and I said, oh, now I can have the opportunity to invade North Korea. And she said over her dead body. So I then sent her a very friendly message to say we need to meet. And she has not responded and she has not tweeted ever since. And oh. you know, that guy, Kim Jong-un, is very, very brutal. Look at how he got rid of his younger brother. I wonder whether he knows that his sister is trying to get rid of him, and so she has disappeared. Wow. Is it is it also true that you may also have been hired, or well, your people may have been hired or instructed by Kim and Jong Un to take out the surgeon that made the mistake? No, I don't really believe that the doctor who, uh, you know, the, 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 I, I, I don't know. I was dreaming the other night that perhaps... The doctor is too afraid to tell Kim Jong-un that he dead. Oh. It's quite possible that the Kim Jong-un is dead, but the doctor is afraid to tell Kim Jong-un that he dead. Ah. That's that that's a very good point. So I, I am I'm not gonna speculate on this. I, I'm sworn to try and stay neutral and not have much of an opinion about anything. Um but so when when this is all lifted, where's your ideal ideal destination to take your new date, Amelia? Oh, Amelia, we're going to go. We, we're definitely going to leave the United Kingdom. It's very, very important because by the time COVID finished with the United Kingdom, if we're not careful, the United Kingdom would have taken over from the US in terms of number of death rates. So, uh, and I, I don't want to remain in a country that has uh, succeeded in, in, in so many deaths in Corona. And so I will be going for somewhere really, really peaceful. I will be taking Amelia back to Gagdad, okay. where we shall be making good love making. 
Because women go. are meant to be, listen, women are meant to be in the kitchen cooking for their husbands oh. or running hotels. Yes. And I, what I want to do is when I go back to Gagdad, I shall create a new hotel chain called Amelia Braveheart Hotel. And she will be the manager managing that. And she, has she got small feet? I haven't seen her feet yet. All I've seen is her face. I, it's just uh, just an old English joke. I just just so she can reach the uh, reach the 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 sink a lot of it easier. Okay, sorry. I I don't do jokes. I'm I'm serious. Sorry. You always try to do this. You always try to put some humor into. I look. I don't know why you do this all the time. You always try to put some humor, some comedy. This is serious stuff we're talking about here. I don't do comedy. I don't do those comedy nonsense. Uh, um, that's slightly awkward because this is supposed to be a spoof news channel. That I don't know about you, but maybe it's the weed that you've taken or the cocaine. As far as I'm concerned, I am talking to BBC and E4 Studios right now. Yep, let's continue with that. Yes, I, I might be delusional. You you could be absolutely right. I just like to confirm for the camera and the people that are watching, I am under an, no intoxication. I haven't started drinking yet. Although if you do occasionally see a bottle, then potentially that is that could have no. That's just got water in it. it. Looks like a beer bottle, but it's not a beer bottle. It's just water. I can assure you. I have an idea for you. I want you to pass this message to the British government and to the, your prime minister. Okay. At the moment, it's very likely that the lockdown will be extended from 7th of May, who knows, till June or whatever. Let me tell you what needs to happen in Britain. What needs to happen, and if I was the leader, I would allow people to do swaps, home swap. Swap with your neighbor so that you can change your scenery. Yeah, so you're not stuck in your house. Yeah, I talk about this because... I have been on lockdown now since the 16th of March and I'm fed up of the house that I live in. I no longer appreciate the living room, the bedroom, the bathroom, the toilet. I want a different scenery. So why can't you just home swap with someone else? That would be a very brilliant idea. With your neighbor. Have you thought about the idea that you might, you might, you might be going into a clean, a non, an unclean house? What happens then? It doesn't matter it's just the scenery of it all it's just the idea of you you know i have an idea for you mr president i i don't take them i i'm not in possession of them but i have access to about a thousand kilos of mushrooms that can allow you to hallucinate and i could have those transported to you express delivery by dpd or yodel but yodel never ma managed to make it to your door so let's forget about them and you could potentially get really high off your head and then you won't even be able to see your surroundings anyway. I don't want, this is what I want. I don't want magic mushrooms. Yeah? Is there any way, Luke, that you could get me, because I haven't been with a woman for a long time. <laughs> is there any way you could get me some Vigina juice? Vigina juice? Vigina Yes. Is that where you can get that and bring lots of it that I can drink? I haven't to met, replenish. I haven't met Fajina before. I don't. I don't know. Vagina, you mean? No, Vagina. Vagina juice. Vagina juice. Vagina. Vagina okay. juice. Um, I'll have to do a Google search after this and see and see what I can do. Back in Gagdad, we have juices like that. It's called Vigina juice. Small bottle juice. Very small. You drink it, it helps. It's better than magic mushrooms. Better than magic mushrooms, right. I'll have to give us a try. Yeah. Um, if I get a hold of some, Mr. President, I'll be sure to let you know before I do anybody else. But I can't guarantee that I'll be how's, in any fit state. To... How's, my, how's my views? How's my, how's my views? Am I getting more views? Um, I don't know. On my side, it looks like we're, we've got technical difficulties, but it seems to still be live. So um, we have a few. We're doing... What are we on? Let me find out where we are with it. We must be doing well. Well, I, I, I don't know because there's no one watching us right now according to this. Oh. 
That's not good, is it? Yeah. Yeah, we got 26 comments, but there are three people who have liked it. You really need to do, get better than this, man. I can't keep wasting my time sitting down with you, trying to address world issues, and only have three people like my, 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 my interview with you and 26 comments and one share, which is obviously you sharing it. <laughs> and we seem to have luck, you know, we, nobody's chewing in. Nobody well, is tuning in. I think we're but gonna have when to... it comes to Donald, when it comes to Donald Trump, he has well over well over twenty thousand people watching him live. What's the difference between me and Donald Trump? Flipping act. This is annoying. I'm, I no, I don't think I can do this any longer. I think we should. We're going to have to cut this episode short because Mr. President has lost his enthusiasm for it. Um, we're going to have to go back to the drawing board and work out. I am president of a great nation, leader of the free world, a popular president. I should be receiving more views, more sharing. What am I doing wrong? Why is social media so tough? <laughs> can we can we potentially send out a letter like the Prime Minister, the, the Prime Minister did and make an appeal? This this is embarrassing for me. It is. If I was running for office in Britain, I would lose my deposit. This is not on. I don't get this. In my country, back in Africa, everyone is at a standstill. 617, mix 617. People are waiting. To, it's like it's like you guys doing your clapping at 8 o'clock. That's what happens in Gaddad. You know, we moved this. We moved this so that we don't clash with the 5 o'clock Prime Minister briefing. We've moved it so it doesn't clash with the 8 o'clock key workers NHS clapping. What are you doing wrong, Luke? Get I, me the goods. I, I want to know what people are doing between 5 and 8 o'clock. Can we send out a survey and find out? No, they don't need a survey. You ask them right now, what do they want to see? Because I cannot continue to waste my time. Even the technical thing is gone kaput. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, Mr. President. That's, a, that's an absolute mystery, that one. That's an absolute mystery. So um, right now, I don't know what's going on. I think we should we should uh, send out an appeal and tell everyone that they're an absolute disgrace and just blame it on everyone else. Don't blame it on ourselves. Blame it on no, the people. Blame you. Blame you. <laughs> blame you. You are in charge of the technical stuff. You've got to get this absolutely right. I mean, the last time I received any comments was from Sean, and it was 26 comments. Sean has left us. It, uh, maybe he didn't like the transphobic comments you made. No, there was no transphobic <laughs> man comments. I, you were the one making racist comments. I didn't make any transphobic comments in any shape or form. But there is nothing here happening right now that I, I think, can see. I, should, we, should we make this a I, shorter episode, Mr. I, President? I, I'm going to end this interview. I, I, you know, you, 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 we, we'll do this next week. No, I mean, if we're not doing it next week, I wouldn't have time for this shit. This poxy shit. I'm not... You, you even got me to start swearing like the English. This is <laughs> diabolical. This is this is terrible. And... Um, okay, Mr. President. We are, definitely, we are definitely still on. I can see. But we have nobody watching. Nobody's watching me. Nobody is watching me. I'm starting to understand why. Mr. President, if you'd like me to say goodbye to you, I can wrap up the show and we can return next week. And we we'll... I think it's for your own sake, for your own safety, let us end it right now. All right, Mr. President. I'll say goodbye to you. And I'll speak to you in goodbye. just a moment. Thank you. So it appears we have ruined the interview with mr president and we've got one more chance to get it right um i think he's he complains too much doesn't he really i think i he blames me he blames you but he doesn't blame himself he's got to take some responsibility for this fuck up and um that that's with him that's on him that's absolutely on him anyway thank you for tuning into the nearly news show we've got many great episodes coming up with many different comedians so stay tuned. You make sure you like the page, facebook.com forward slash nearly news, 
and like President Bonjo and tune in next week at 17 minutes past six. Thank you for watching and speak to you soon.